And what's going on? It's your boy Joe Fontaine, the Joe Fontaine Music. Just want to hit you guys right quick with the uh, Machine Controller Editor program. Got a couple of emails in regards to this. I did a couple of, um, well, actually, I did a tutorial on this before, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can go ahead and um, custom map out the Controller Editor program, how to get a custom uh, Mackie board off of it. For example, you can use this um, program for a lot of different features, such as controlling uh, your DAW, you know, the volume, the pan equalization, uh, navigation, and things of that nature. You know, a lot of people really don't realize the versatility of this program. So I figured I'd just go ahead and share this right quick. Um, for example, I have Reason open here, and uh, you can go under File. I'm sorry, not File, but Edit, Your Preferences. Right here is where I would set up my M Audio Axiom uh, 61. Right now, I have it on right now. You know, anything basically that you want to find, you will auto-detect the services that will find it in there. Right here, I got it selected as Mackie Control, and I'm using it with Reason. Uh, reason being, I'm going to use this Mackie control uh, via the uh, controller editor program, and I'll show you how that works. So in the controller editor program, you have a lot of presets that's built into it, but you can create your own templates as well. Right here, you can see the one I'm going to be using is Mackie control. But for example, let's say if you come into the template, you know, under this edit icon, you can create new ones. There's uh, some that's, that's pre-built or rather I should say prefabricated. Um, such as um, FX Expansion Guru, Battery 3, et cetera, et cetera. But you also can make your own. We'll get into that in a second. And you also can replace ones. And when you're done with your work, you just save it. So right here, these are all the CC mappings. Let's say if you're in Pro Tools or something like that, you actually can, or most DAWs has a CC Learn function where actually you can map um, any and everything in here. For example, these are your root notes. If you're on your machine control of the group icons, A through H, you can scroll up. The page is like this, and you can see the uh, the notes are changing there. A lot of times, I like, I like to use my MIDI controller when it comes to playing notes and stuff like that. And you have different pages, such as your knob pages, where you can scroll through your pages, which is basically what the group function does here. Okay, and you can name these pages. You can you know name them whatever you want to name them. And let's say, for example, if you're assigning your MIDI notes, here's your root note C1. You can go under sign in this MIDI note icon here. You can scroll through your notes like so. But again, I have a previous tutorial on that. I'm not going to really go too in depth with that. So you, so you, you know, you get to, to see how this is a very useful and very handy program. Plus, it's a lot of fun. Um, for example, under Mackie Control, I was creating this one uh, right here, and you you can see right here the first page. I named it VIP EQ and Aux Power. Um, reason being because. If I go over here where I labeled it track solo and mute, these are the mutes that I um, customly set up. These are the custom troubles and bases and EQs that I set up. Like if you look over here, we'll just let me move this over a little bit more so we can see this a lot better. Like so. Okay. Now you'll notice that when I move a knob over there, you see the trouble knob moving? That's a custom mapping. Now if you look over there on the controller editor program, it's mapping. The bass is mapping. Okay. If I hit the uh, the EQ button, we could turn that on and off. The other one's my mic. If I, you know, if I want more bass in my voice, I can, you know, I can hit it like that. You know, what I'm saying, get ridiculous. You know, what I'm saying, if I really want to get loud on the mic, you know, what I'm saying, to come through like mad crystal clear. You know, what I'm saying, but I, I choose not to do this a lot of times because, you know. It's just for, you know, YouTube, you know, tutorial videos. But, you know, if we want to get the mic, you know what I mean, real, real, real tight, you know what I mean, we can go in there and just custom EQ that. Um, you know, you go through the pages. And I have pretty much all that mapped out, and you can go through that. And uh, matter of fact, what I'll do, you know, pretty much what I do for my VIP members, I'll take this um, controller editor program that I custom uh, create it for the Mackie controller and I'll throw it inside the VIP database. Now keep in mind you don't have to have a Mackie controller for this to work. This is being controlled all off of the machine hardware controller, the virtual instrument controller, which makes a very handy Mackie controller. So you're starting to see the the uh, the profound usefulness of this um, program. A lot of people really don't realize how powerful the the machine controller editor program is. Okay, for example, let's say if I was going down here to navigation, which is pad E, you see right here I labeled two mixer, and you see right here I labeled two Kong. So if I was to hit 
this button right here. We're going onto the Kong. If I go like this, you see the mixer highlight. Go like that. Now we're down here at the Kong. So that that navigation button pretty pretty much works kind of how it does inside the machine. All right, now I have a custom um, Kong template here, and I'm going to throw these uh, little skins that I got. And you see right there, it resembles kind of a uh, MPC 2000, you know. And this custom template, you know, this is just basically how I got my mic running in and stuff like that. And, you know, right here is where you can just drag and drop your sounds. You know, I have a, I have another reason kit that you can drag in um, some HD sounds on there. But let's say if I was to go over here where I custom mapped out Kong Mutant Solos, and I go over here, okay, now on the machine controller, now remember my machine controller is on, so it's just going to mimic what you're seeing here. For example, pad one, it says mute. Okay, these are the first mutes. And uh, I have a solo button right here that I custom mapped out. Like if I hit the solo button, you notice how all these pads turn red and this pad right here gets soloed on and off. Or if I want to mute just a certain pad, you know, you can go like this here. I'm just tapping on my machine controller. You know, you can go in there and just mute pads. You know, so you can basically, you know, you, you get the idea. You can go in here and just, just go bananas with your mappings. Um, if you look towards the bottom down there, let me get it up. Let me just move this up a little bit. It's probably hard to see because I got my move this to the side. Right about there. So I'm trying to show you the little tempo area here. I have a custom knob map right here that says tempo. That if I was to go like that, you see the tempo down there? It's going from zero to one. Okay. I have a master knob right here. If you look up there, I'm not gonna adjust it too much, but you see that moving up there. Because I don't want to, let's see, right there. You know, because that's on the mic. We don't want to. We don't want to mess with that too much. But you get the idea. Some custom mappings. You know, again, if I go over here, where I labeled uh, "Use MIDI Controller," where it says "Kong Pad Trigger." Now you can map these these pads out on the uh, Kong controller. You know, but I I prefer to use the MIDI controller, which is why I did it like this. But you can come in here and you can rename that. You could just you know assign the Kong notes. Um, Let's go back to this this page here. I want to show you these knobs. Some more knobs that I have mapped out. Let's go back up here. Kong solo mute. I have the track volumes here, which makes life easy, easier for you for you know you know your reason users. And you notice like where it says track volume one. Okay, now I can control that knob. You know. Then if I go over here where it says pan. I can control the pan left and right like that. We're not gonna mess with the second one because that's my mic. But you know, you get the idea. You can go. You can know. You got complete and total control over over everything. Okay, so that makes life really easy. You know. So again, I'm not gonna run too long. You know, and that's basically how the controller editor program works. I'm not going like really super in depth into it because, you know, you guys are gonna dive in. And you're gonna have fun with that. And of course, when you're done, you just come back here, and you press save as. You can save your um your custom um template or what have you and as you can see right here that's just me recording myself but if you look right there let's get this out the way you see right here why I saved everything and I'm going to zip this up and throw it inside the VIP database and I'm also going to throw some skins in there so again this is your boy Joe Fontaine the Joe Fontaine music be sure to come to my webpage which is www.digitalmusic.yolasite.com I have a VIP membership available it's only $9.99 no monthly fees. It's a one-time fee. It gets you in for a lifetime subscription of free session kits, controller editor programs, um, pretty much any and everything that you need for music production, customs, uh, Pro Tools files, uh, structure kits, um, you know, you name it. It's in there for grabs, beats, what have you. So it's pretty much it. I'm not going to run too long on this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.